All right, so this video on training for pull-ups is uh, for uh, Chauncey Willoughby and Coach Omar Brown uh, posting this for you. So this is a trick to being able to do a chin, a good perfect chin up, and this is how you got to do it, okay? So notice what I'll do is I'm going to put this here, okay, and just want to get an angle so you can see here. So what you got to do is there's, you know, you got the chin bar up here, okay? And so what I'm gonna do, if I can't do a chin up, one of the best ways I can do it is this. I gotta jump up, get the bar, hold my chin up there, count one Mississippi, two Mississippi, and I, slow, I slowly lower myself down, okay? So watch how I do that, okay? Okay, so I do that, and what I can do is I do that in, let's say I can do 25 sets of two, okay, and I can give myself two minutes to do that. I, I set the timer for two minutes on my phone, and I get that right at the beginning, and then I get my rest periods. So I get two minutes, and I get two minutes of that, and then, you know, so I do two minutes, and I do that 25 times. And then eventually I get to the point where I can do two perfect chin-ups. When I work towards that, once I get that, step two is here when I come here, or even just one perfect chin-up. When I come here and I do this. And notice I'm not kipping, I'm not you know going real fast or anything. I'm getting my maximum range of motion and I'm doing my best to point my toes when I do it too, because that's something that really, really helps to maximize your athleticism. It's good if you're a sprinter and you can do that stuff too. I was taught that by Coach Ethan Reeve. And so you can do that that way. And that's eventually, you know, once you get to your negatives, eventually you'll be able to do your pull-ups like that. And then eventually, you know, you can break it down to where you can do a workout it takes 20 minutes where you do three perfect chin-ups, three perfect push-ups like this, where I go one Mississippi, two Mississippi, and I do five of them. And then I go here, but before that, I'll go one, I'll do a deep squat too, where I'll come here. And I look to try and lean back as much as I can, because even if you got a weak Achilles tendon, that helps to strengthen it. And if nothing else, you know, you're keeping your knees strong too, which is important. Good to keep your knees strong. Thanks, Chauncey. Thanks, Coach Omar Brown. Got to control what you can control, and this is definitely something I can control. Thanks. It's like you said, Coach. Get your workout in. Thanks all the time. Appreciate everybody.